Hey everybody, this is Bibsmaster Deluxe back again for another episode of Banjo Kazooie. Um, here we go. Um, this is just the game total screen. This is showing you what we have so far. So far, we got 43 jiggies, 400 notes, and then of course the 14 honeycomb pieces, and only excuse me, sorry, uh, an hour and 40 minutes. So that's not bad at all. Um, in the last episode, we took down Bubble Gloop Swamp, and in this episode, we'll be heading through this door and heading over to Freezy's Peak, which you saw in the last episode. Do a little dance, feel a little flow, get down tonight. All right, uh, we're gonna do a couple things first. Actually, we're going to um, peck into these, and apparently, Kazooie's beak is much more powerful than bricks. Yeah, I don't understand it either. But, um, first we're going to go over here and enter through this room. Avoid this blue guy. The difference between their colors is how many hits they can take. Um, these blue guys actually take two hits per, per life, so they're kind of more difficult, but in reality, not really. Alright, so that switch opens up this spiraling, um, jump pad, so let's just go ahead and jump into this urn like thing. Oh, look at that! We slide through there and get our fourth jiggy of the lair. Or fifth, actually. Well, fourth, like, actually obtaining besides the freebie at the beginning there, so not too shabby. Alright, so let's go let's jump up here. Kill this guy, or not. He just doesn't even notice us. Whatever. Alright, so... What we're gonna want to do is go up through, uh, go up through this little passage here, go up the stairs, and then we are gonna walk around over here into the snow. Get a little chilly, but I like the cold. Bears usually hibernate, and birds flock to the south. But we're going straight into the depths of winter here. All right. Whoops! This is not gonna be good. Oh, wow. If I landed straight back down, I would have exited the level, which would have been annoying. Alright, so we got one more um, move to learn here. But first, let's just enter in here, and you see that these guys, wah, wah, where's our presents? Our daddy, Boggy, says he's fetching them. He's been gone ages, wah. Yeah, shut up. Alright. <clears throat> so what we're going to want to do is leave here. So we got to make sure we're on the lookout for Boggy and some presents. Oh, well, there's Boggy. <laughs> Where's the presence, bear? Crone, my stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten all that sh that shiny thing. Someone help poor Boggy. Now, my first um, thought when he said that was just to drown pound his stomach, but that doesn't do anything, so we're going to have to find another way to get that jiggy out of him. So, let's go. Um, one annoying thing is these snowmen. They just laugh menacingly and throw snowballs at you, which get quite annoying really fast, so, um, yeah, let's just get around them, and let's go right over here, and let's jump on the top of this box and ground pound it. We got the twinkles, twinklies, so basically just talking Christmas lights, and they want to get to the tree behind us, but these guys want to eat them, so let's pound them. I'm not sure which one's going to come up first, but... Uh-oh. haven't gotten any. Right. It gets pretty... It's about this... Or I guess once you kind of get going, it gets pretty easy. It's going to be kind of hard for me to get all the way back in time. But whatever. Kind of, I mean, if you get it out of a rhythm too, it can get pretty difficult. So you just gotta make sure that you get, ah, make sure you get ten of them in there. Right? Uh, this green one should be the last. It should be good. Yeah, we're good. All right. So once they get into the tree there, the on button finally appears. So apparently, you can't turn on the tree until there's lights. So what we're gonna do is grab these notes here. We're going to attack this ice cube that's trying to kill us. And then 
grab this health, and then what we're gonna do is shoot the on button with three eggs. Oops. And that turns on the tree. But we haven't gotten our jiggy yet. We got 60 seconds to do something. And that little something is we're gonna have to run up over here and jump on this uh, fly pad, actually. Fly up here. And fly through this star three times. So we're already up here, so it's looking good. Okay, let's turn around here. No, 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 no. There we go. <laughs> and with that, the Jiggy is finally ours. So let's fly down here quick. And let's just jump up here. Oh, let's not do that. Uh, and you want to watch out for the water in this level too. It's ice water, so apparently cold water hurts our barren bird. So let's grab the Mumbo token and let's climb up the tree and claim our reward. Oh, look at that, there's a present, too. And we got notes, so this is definitely not a bad trip whatsoever. Let's grab this jiggy. Let's just grab some eggs quick since we're here. Alright, let's jump down here, let's grab these notes. And then let's grab that one present. Oops. Apparently we got some termites in here, but... Whatever. Alright, let's get out of here. And with that, we already have our first Jiggy, so... Not bad. So let's go talk to Bottles and Mole, and let's get our new... new move for the level. Which is actually... Um... A speed attack in the air. Which is actually very difficult to maneuver. I mean, like, if you don't... It takes a while to get used to, definitely. All you do is press X while in the air, and Kazooie goes flying. Well, Banjo and Kazooie both go flying. Thank you for the health bottles, and let's get out of here. Alright, so one thing we want to get is these notes, obviously, and then there's also the pink Jinjo up here. Let's grab him. do right away is jump up here and we're gonna, what we're gonna do is fly straight into these buttons so let's fly up fly up and boom pounded that so there's a jiggy down there now and we also see a present in the background <clears throat> but what we're gonna want to do actually now before we go land is always difficult oh and um whenever you um, use that aerial attack, you lose a feather as well, so you gotta uh, make sure you have enough feathers. Oops, no. What you're gonna do here is, um, you're gonna wanna... Oof, that hurt. Of course. Right. We're gonna have to fly around here, this is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt. Alright, let's just hit this here. Grab some health. And what we're gonna do is hit that X on there, the snowman. The snowman's hut here. So let's just jump up here. I mean, it kinda gets difficult. There we go. There's all sorts of goodies under these guys' head, heads, so this is a grunty switch there. As you can see, it gets pretty difficult. I mean, he kinda just. You gotta be, like, straight on target in order to get these correct, but... Uh, dang it, Banjo. Alright, so since we're over here, might as well grab this green jiggy. Or jiggy, jiggy. Green Jinjo. I get that mixed up too much, but... Or might as well grab some feathers while we're up here. And then... Grab that. Grab these notes. I kind of want to continue on with getting those snowmen out of here. So let's grab this present here. So 
now we got two out of the three presents. So we just gotta be on the lookout for that last one. Let's grab all these mumble tokens and the... No, it's at the bottom of the snowman here. And grab the jiggy. Thank you, kind sir. And, um, in this level as well, we're only gonna be getting, um, nine out of the ten jiggies because we actually also... We need another... We need the same item as the previous level to get the last jiggy in this level, so... We'll get that later. Um, let's go... Come on. Let's go over here and get this grunty switch. That opens up over there. We'll get that. Again, we also need the, the same item to get that one, too, so... We really need to get find this item, and the item is in the next level, so we should be catching up on a whole bunch of stuff next episode. But let's just grab this Momo token, and then let's climb up here. I good thing there's a lot of feathers up here. Alright, let's climb back on here. I think we had two more? I believe two more um, guys to hit. The nice thing about this thing is you can travel really fast in the air. Alright, let's pound this guy. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Alright, so there's our first um, honeycomb piece of the level. Come on. Ugh. Dang it. No, not that now. No, no. Bye. Take these. Thank you, kind sir. Alright, we'll... Well, we'll come... Since we're already up here, we might as well climb up this. There's Waza the Walrus right there. He's scared of the Baron Bird, and he also has a Jiggy in his hand, so... Um, he's not gonna be willing to give that to us. We might have to transform. Eh? Yeah, see what I'm getting at? Alright, let's just come up here. I don't really care about all the feathers that much, but I obviously care about all the notes. So let's grab these. And let's walk around here. Alright, 69. Alright. Alright, let's go over here first and grab... Eh. Yeah, I think, I think we should be able to make it. Grab a blue ginger. Come back over here. Before we jump on that sled, let's jump up here and see what's up. And <laughs> he's apparently smoking some gold here. Alright, so. Let's jump over here. Hey, look it! Whoa! Whoa! That could have been bad. Get up here again. We found the last of the presents, so uh, upon exiting the level, we should be able to grab that. Um, th there are some notes up here, I believe, as well. Yes. Let's try this thing first, though. All right, let's just get on Kazooie just to make this faster and less scary. Alright, so with that, we have 77, um, 77 notes, and I don't remember how many jiggies, but we've got a considerable amount, I know that. So let's just go over here again, and let's jump on that, um, sled that we saw. Looks kind of fun. Am I right? Yeah! So that is how we get it out of Waza. We land on Waza with a sled and slice his stomach open. Alrighty. He thanks us and challenges us to a race, so... Let's do that. Okay, now we have four jiggies. So let's just go up here. And turn into... Or turn into... Let's uh, return these presents. Here you go, here you go, and here you go. Ba 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 ba! 
awesome. So with that, we have half the Jiggies in this level already. So let's get out of here. Let's grab these feathers just to be safe here. Never have too many feathers in this level, especially. Alright, so... What we want to do is come over here. And, um... Laza actually will not let us race him. Because we're too big. We're too fat. I'm waiting for someone to race me. We'll race you, Numba. Sorry, you're too big, so you're too fat. I can only race someone smaller. So let's get out of here. After getting insulted. Um, let's go over here and jump up on this chimney. And let's get that last hey, snowman. Kind of pissing me off. Alright, can we do long range? Let's do it. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh, he just got pounded. Alright, and with that, look at that. We got a jiggy. So let's just fly up there quick. See, it does take a lot of feathers to get up here. Almost 20. Almost. So now that we got that. Come on. Alright. We're at six jiggies now. Whatever. Let's drop down here. Um, let's see here. I forgot what I want to do here. Let's just go down here as Banjo and Kazooie. Ouch. It did not work out very well, actually, but whatever. Alright. Alrighty then, so let's... Hmm. Let's, let's try to transform. I think we've done all that we can possibly do by transforming here, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Um, as you saw before, Mumbo's hut is right over here. We could fly over there, but I'm too lazy, so let's just jump. Oops. Ah, I don't really want to get hurt twice there. Kind of low on health, but irregardless. So what we're going to do is jump up here first, I believe. There's a, yep, there's a yellow ginger up here. So we got that out of the way. We got these notes. What we do is jump down. And let's transform. Let's see what we turn into. It is a walrus. So this guy's a little smaller and can withstand the cold, chilly temperatures of the water. So we're going to be doing a lot of note collecting here. Well, not a lot, only... How many do we need? 13 notes? So we got that many left. I believe all of them are right over here, so... Oh, I forgot to grab this honeycomb piece, too. So let's do that. And then we're gonna go over here, grab these notes. And we still got some left. Of what? Four left? Somewhere. Funny thing is, I have no idea where they are, but we'll easily find them no matter where. We'll eventually here. I'll go grab that. And then what we're gonna do is go talk to Waza and see what up. Um, he is up this hill, I believe. <clears throat> um, might as well go over here quick and get this mumbo token. Because as I said before, it gets really, really annoying if you don't have any mumbo tokens on you. And you need to transform into something in the, like, the last level. It really is annoying coming back here and just looking for extra mumbo tokens. It's just, uh, annoying. Hey, here's our notes. With that... Hey, we're done with all the notes in this level. So let's go talk to Waz and see what's up. Wow, another Walmart. Take this. Why, thank you. Watch out for Smelly Brown Bear and his ugly bird. Now that we got seven jiggies, 
only two to go. Well, two to go in this episode, because one of them won't get later, as I stated. So let's let's have let's feel free to look around. Um, what's over here? Oh, we got a hole. That's only big enough for a walrus. <laughs> So let's take a look in here and see what's up. Um, there it is. This is the secret of Waza's hut. The uh, second honeycomb. Let's go just go around here and hide from him. We don't really need an extra life because, I, as I said before, it resets. So let's get out of here. Uh, what we're gonna go and do now is go face Waza in his sled race. So let's go over there and do that. And there's also uh, that orange Jinjo, and I believe that's the last Jinjo. Yep last ginger that we need, so let's go over there. Again, if you if you just listen to this music, it just suits the level so well. And I don't know. If I don't know if you've been noticing the music after I said it like in the first episode, but all of them are just so catchy. And the fact that they perfectly suit the level, and you can just hear the music, and you know instantly know what level it's from just by the f the sound of it. It's just really cool. I love it. All right, let's go see what Waza has to say. Fancy race? Hop on the sled if you do. You're on, bro. Do you even lift? Great. All you need to do is steer the sled through the red uh, gates. So he kind of looks fast here, kind of intimidating, but um. In the end, or he kind of looks slow here, but in, at the end he actually does speed up quite a bit. And what you're going to want to do is when you're going up these, you're going to want to jump, because that speeds you up a lot. Um, that's where you basically make up all your speed. And I believe there are also a couple mumbo tokens on this level where you can only get during the race. That's kind of interesting, but it's not really worth my time to get. Usually more than enough. As long as you look out for him. Let's get over here. We're almost to the end here. The end is one big upslope, so that's really convenient for you. It's kind of nice to stay right in front of him, so okay, you can see now he'll get ahead of you. You want to stay in front of him as much as possible. Alright, so like right here, just jump. He thinks he's all that, and then jump, 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 boom! Get pounded. Too quick for him. Here's your medal. And he says he'll have to race someone his own size. So as you guessed it, we'll have to come back here and race him as Banjo and Kazooie. But we won't be able to do that until we get our special item. So, um, now that we got eight, all we need to do is grab that last orange Jinjo, and we're good for this course for now. So let's just hop down here and go back to Mumbo's hut and turn back into Banjo Kazooie so we can backflip up there. And the only thing I really don't like about the walrus is that he's just really slow just to move around. It's kind of annoying, but I mean, most of them are fairly slow. Whatever. I think it works, I guess. I just. Like, there's some, some animals in Banjo-Tooie that you get to turn into that are pretty sweet. If I ever do that LP, or if you've played the game, you'll know what they are. They're pretty sweet, though. One of them's... Yeah, one of them's a minivan, which is... Or, like, a van is pretty, is pretty sweet. And run people over and stuff. Alright, let's grab these and wade through this water. Alrighty, now that we got through that... Run up here with Kazooie. As you can see, Kazooie is much better handling than Banjo on this ice. Alright, let's just walk up here to Scarf here and just jump across. Ooh, almost didn't make it there. Alright, we're gonna walk in here and Waza's gonna be like, OMG! Be really scared. But, we don't really wanna eat you. We just want to. And look at behind us. This was originally left out of the original game. It's still he there in the original game.
it's still there in the original game, but it was left out. Like, that little gateway was blocked off, actually. So, this is the ice key. Cool. An enormous ice key. Watch it. We should keep this. Stop and swap item for later. Um, I will get into the stop and swap later on in the series once we start getting all the eggs and stuff. So, um, just for now, all you really need to know is that it was left out, a feature that was left out of the N64 game originally, but you can now collect them for use in the Xbox Live Arcade versions. So, that's pretty cool. They don't really serve a purpose to us in this game at all, unfortunately, but they're cool to collect. So I really like the music that plays. So now that we got nine jiggies, we're getting out of here. And we're going to wrap up this episode out here. Alright, so, um, it's a pretty lengthy episode this time. Um, before we go, however, I believe we want to go in here first. Come on. Before we go, I want to unlock the next level. So let's just walk in here. And walk around here and show, give you a little sneak peek of what's to come. This is Gobi's Valley. Alrighty. So, we'll be heading into the desert next after being... after freezing our butts off. Um, in the next episode, guys, we will be heading into Gobi's Valley to get that sacred item that I've been talking about forever. So, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Banjo Kazooie. You ain't ever gonna change. You got a gypsy song to play, and you were born for leaving. If you think I was born for leaving, then I think I was born for truth. Then, man, I'd be lying if there was a time I hadn't been thinking about you.